You're watching NFL Daily by Chat Sports. I am Will Scott talking about today's NFL news and rumors on this Monday. Appreciate you watching, and we're always going to have you covered with NFL news and rumors. So be sure to subscribe to the channel for what's quite frankly the best NFL content on YouTube. We're one of the fastest growing YouTube channels out there, and you're talking about the NFL. So be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when we put out a video. Can't talk about the latest rumors without talking about Lamar Jackson and Aaron Rodgers. Uh, when could deals become official for these star quarterbacks? And potentially, could it happen after the NFL draft? Albert Breer from Sports Illustrated has the latest. Here's what he said about Lamar Jackson. We begin with the Ravens QB. There's a possibility that there's a team or teams lurking with the high first-round pick that may not love this year's class of draft-eligible QBs that may not want to give up a high first rounder to get Jackson, that could see a far more enticing window to try and poach Jackson post-draft. At that point, another team would be giving up its 2024 and 2025 first rounders to get Jackson. And theoretically, such a team would probably think with Jackson at quarterback, those first rounders would land somewhere in the 20s, well below where their pick this year might be. And when I hear Albert Breer say this, I think of one team. And I think of the Indianapolis Colts, because right now the Colts have the fourth overall pick in this year's draft. Trading that pick away, I get it, for Lamar Jackson, uh, for a guy like Lamar Jackson, would probably be worth it. But still, that's a difficult decision for that organization to make here in the weeks before the NFL draft. Uh, that pick has a lot of value, and you're going to have to give up multiple first-round picks for Jackson anyway. You'd much rather give up the next year's pick and the next year's pick after that uh, than the number four overall pick this year. And the Colts, uh, my top destination right now uh, for Lamar, here are some other destinations for Lamar Jackson. Uh, the Falcons have said they're out. <laughs> I don't know if I'm buying that just yet. We'll see. The Lions uh, would be a lot of fun. The Patriots, according to Meek Mill, uh, might be in the mix here. Uh, Meek Mill has the scoops, apparently. And then uh, Baltimore and uh, obviously Baltimore and then the Las Vegas Raiders as well. So uh, we'll see where Lamar ends up. Uh, but there's certainly a possibility uh, that he could stay in Baltimore. Do you think he is going to stay with the Ravens? Type Y for yes or type N for no down in the comment section. Go down and let me know what you think. Will Jackson stay in Baltimore? Uh, now let's get in to the latest on Aaron Rodgers, who said he wants to be a Jet several weeks ago, and guess what? He's still not a Jet. Could a deal happen soon? When is a deal going to happen? happen? Uh, Breer said this about the Aaron Rodgers situation. My sense at this point is that the sides are in a good place, but not in a rush. The draft then will become one tension just in that getting a current year pick or two as part of a trade package would be important to the Packers. Another would be April 17th, the day both teams start their offseason program. So we have two dates mentioned there for Aaron Rodgers. Uh, April 17th, which is the beginning of the offseason programs. The other date being the draft. And I feel like the offseason program date might be getting overlooked a little bit because... You know, Aaron Rodgers is going to want to get accumulated with his new teammates, specifically his wide receivers, and especially the coaching staff as well. And it would be beneficial for him and his transition to new team for that to happen before uh, team activities begin in two weeks. So a deal could happen really any second. Uh, we've been saying that for a couple weeks, though. It's weird that a deal hasn't happened yet, uh, but they're still trying to figure out the compensation. But it would certainly be shocking if a deal does not happen. Uh, by the NFL draft. We'll have more news and rumors here in a second. Uh, but speaking of the draft, you can go get your draft hats right now. Jatsports.com slash NFL draft hats. All the teams listed on there. And I think this year's bunch of hats are the best that we've seen. Uh, no question about it. Uh, every single team, uh, their draft caps are looking fresh. You're going to see uh, a draft prospect. You know, put these on uh, next month for your favorite team. So uh, beat them to it. Go get yours right now. Jetsports.com slash NFL draft hats. 
That link is in the comments and the description of today's video. You'll see Tom Downey wearing that. You won't see me wearing that, though. <laughs> Moving on to the next quote here on Aaron Rodgers. Albert Breer saying this, I think there's been enough progress to think a deal is a relatively certain. The deal is relatively certain before the draft. And there's a good chance, too, that Rodgers is officially a Jet before Robert Sala addresses his team for the first time this offseason two weeks from today. So there's Breer again bringing up the April 17th target date when offseason training kind of begins as a date that Aaron Rodgers could potentially be in New York by. We'll see. I think all of us were expecting a deal to get done before uh, you know, before this point. So we're into April now. It's still no deal has been done. He went on Pat Mack a few weeks ago. So uh, we'll see what happens. Aaron Rodgers wants to be a Jet. He's not a Jet yet. But Breer is kind of saying, Jets fans, don't panic. Uh, a deal should happen here in the next couple of weeks. What about DeAndre Hopkins' deal? He's someone else uh, that has been in a lot of trade rumors. Breer says uh, that the Cardinals' wide receiver could be cut Instead of traded, Breer said this on the Greg Bedard podcast. Some teams think that the Cardinals are going to cut him. They think the Cardinals will wind up cutting him. His market is not great right now. There's nobody who is willing to take on Hopkins' contract and pay the Cardinals' initial asking price. And he mentions the contract. Here is that contract. He is owed over $21 million this year. $17 million next year before becoming a free agent in 2025. So that contract, not necessarily a pretty one for a receiver of his age. And I don't think uh, I don't think teams want to take on that contract, which is why he might get cut. And if he's cut or traded, could it, traded could still happen. Here are some possible destinations. I still believe that the New York football giants are the number one destination here for DeAndre Hopkins. Now, you've heard the Patriots linked as well, but keep in mind, Bill O'Brien, who he doesn't like, is the offensive coordinator, so I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, the Kansas City Chiefs have been linked. They apparently inquired. Uh, the Buffalo Bills and the Raiders are some other teams to watch here, but I'm still thinking Giants. I think the Giants make a lot of sense. Uh, they added Darren Waller this offseason. Adding DeAndre Hopkins as well would be absolutely huge for this Giants offense. And the Giants certainly made a big leap this season. First year under Brian Dable. They could make another big leap in year two if they're able to add a guy uh, like D-Hop. Where will Hopkins land? Go down in the comments section. Let me know. Uh, where do you think DeAndre Hopkins is going to land? I'm still going to say Giants. Um... Maybe Packers are a sleeper team to watch there, but I don't really see him wanting to get traded there uh, if Aaron Rodgers is not the quarterback. Speaking of trades, uh, Daniel Jeremiah said on his podcast uh, that the Titans and Raiders could trade up to number three overall. Now, right now, the Raiders occupy uh, the number seven pick in the NFL draft. The Titans, meanwhile, have the 11th pick in the NFL draft, and this is an interesting situation. For both teams, uh, because right now, he, here's here's the situation right now. Uh, you have the Panthers with the number one pick. They're going to take a quarterback. Uh, you have the Texans with the number two pick. They're going to take a quarterback. And you have the Colts with the number four pick. They're probably going to take a quarterback. The Cardinals have the number three pick. They don't need a quarterback, so they might trade back. You might have a quarterback needy team trade up, try to get ahead of the Colts at three, probably take Richardson or Levis, and if you're the Raiders, I mean, you have Jimmy Garoppolo, you just signed him, you gave him a pretty big contract, now it's manageable, you get out of it after a year, potentially, uh, but still, you did just pay Jimmy G, if you're the Titans, you've said you've committed to Ryan Tannehill, which personally, I think is a mistake, now uh, we'll see what happens, but this is an interesting situation uh, for both teams, and I think both teams should seriously look in to trading up, especially the Titans, quite frankly. Who should trade up? Uh, what do you think? Type LV for the Raiders or TEN for the Tennessee Titans? Go down in the comments section. Let me know. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if either of these teams trade up, uh, but if one should trade up, it should be the Tennessee Titans. So they got to move on from Ryan Tannehill and uh, move in to another direction.